consumer satisfaction with auto insurance claims experience, according to J.D. Power and Associates. When Sam Arish was being touted as one of the nation's top high school football recruits a couple years back, the recruiting pundits raved about his strength. It was strength that manifested itself not only on the football field, but also on the wrestling mats, where Marish won three Minnesota State Wrestling Championships. But as Ann Kreider tells us, Marish's physical strength is nothing when compared to his mental strength. number 17. The walk from the tunnel to midfield takes only 94 paces. But for Minnesota freshman Sam Marish, these are steps that haven't been easy, that haven't been sure. Steps some thought he would never take. Tonight, when the Gophers take this field for the first time ever, at the special request of head coach Tim Brewster, Sam will lead the Gophers on their maiden voyage out of the tunnel. He is a Minnesotan through and through, and I think that the state of Minnesota is really going to be excited to see one of their own who's battled through adversity, battled through all, all kinds of hard times, and, and now he's able to reap the rewards of what he's done. From the moment Tim Brewster saw film of Sam Marish, he wanted him wearing the maroon and gold. He actually came into my wrestling room and offered me a scholarship right away, which was a pretty sweet feeling. You know, he came in with his, his jacket and tie and stuff. When we met Coach Brewster, which is they, for some reason, they connected. I told him, uh, can I have the number, number 17? He goes, <laughs> if she sure can, I was like, well, I think I'm going to commit that. After committing, Marish went to take a mandatory physical. Once he passed, he would be Brewster's first in-state blue chip recruit. Basically, you know, they check up on everything, check your, you know, check your heartbeat and stuff like that. But, you know, when they did that, it was, I mean, he kind of heard something. The doc kind of heard something. And, uh, you know, it told me that there's a little murmur in there, you know, which I didn't really think much of. My husband and I went on the computer and read about heart murmurs, and there's a lot of different things that could go on, that, that, that it could be. But when they called us in, we knew it was something serious. And then, of course, we sat down with the University of Minnesota. Um, cardiology surgeon type guy and um, he was not very positive. Marish was diagnosed with a bicuspid aortic valve in his heart. The aortic valve allows oxygenated blood to flow from the heart to the aorta so it can be circulated throughout the entire body. A normal aortic valve has three leaflets. Sam's only had two preventing it from opening and closing properly. Surgery was needed, and the doctor told Sam his football career was likely over. He didn't seem to really know Sam and, and know what Sam was all about, so he just kind of said, you know, this, this doesn't look like he's going to be able to do much of anything. In June 2008, Marish was admitted to the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota for open heart surgery. Doctors at the clinic told Sam his only chance to return to football hinged on whether they could repair his heart without cutting through his entire sternum. A determination doctors would only be able to make in the operating room. Here's a 19 year old boy who's asking his dad to Mm -hmm. Asking his dad to sleep in the room with him the night before the surgery. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, he's a big old strapping strong boy, you know, you don't, he's fine, you know, but mm -hmm. then you stay with me. On June 26, 2008, 
Sam Marish underwent surgery, where his heart would not beat for the next six hours. The hardest thing, you know, when, you, when I'm holding my wife's hand is when they come to tell you that he's on the life support stuff, the, the bypass, it's called. Well, you know, your son, his heart isn't beating anymore. After six hours in surgery, the lead surgeon gave Sam's father good news. He was able to repair Sam's heart without cutting through the entire sternum. And when he said that, I knew there was a real hope that he's going to play again. So you're in there and you're watching him and you're, it's hard and he starts to come to. He can't talk to you because he's got the big old tube down his throat. And, and um, we're saying, oh, Sammy, if everything was well, and I leaned in, and I, I said, Sammy, because I told him right away, they only cut the top, they didn't have to cut it all the way down, and, and we, you know, he made a fist. He heard. Sam was showered with gifts and well wishes from friends, family, and his future coach, only 48 hours after the surgery. You know, he pulled out from, from behind him a, a jersey with uh, 17 marish on the back, which was pretty sweet. I was pretty jugged up still, and uh, they come in with a uh, um, big poster board and uh, had all the players' uh, signatures on there. He was hurting when I saw him in the hospital, but the type of kid that this is, he said, Coach Brew, let's go take a lap. And, uh, and so he stood up and he had all kinds of wires hanging everywhere. He was dragging stuff. Coach Wizard was a little hesitant about it. He didn't want me to get up, but uh, I was like, no, I'll be fine. And uh, we walked around the, uh, the, the hallways and stuff. He really loves my boy. He said many a times, you know, he's like a son to me. He, you know, in a sense that he cares enough about him like I would, or that my husband would. And he's going to be sure that he's taken care of. Four days at the Mayo Clinic, Marish was released and put on a specialized six-month rehabilitation program. This past March, Sam was cleared for physical contact by the Gopher medical staff. But something else was wrong. My left calf was kind of bugging me. I couldn't really push off of it. I couldn't really run. And, um, and uh, I went into the doctor and they said that uh, I had a tumor or something in my leg. He said to me, maybe God doesn't want me to do Tests revealed the tumor was non-cancerous, leaving Sam another choice. Having the tumor removed, putting his football career at risk yet again, or play through the pain. They could have done surgery, but uh, it was uh, a 50-50 chance, you know, that they said the, uh, the growth of the tumor that was in my leg was so deep that it would have been a really tough surgery to do. And um, it might not have known if I'd have been able to play again. But I said, you know what, I'm just going to play through it. On March 24, 2009, less than a year after having open heart surgery, and with a tumor in his left calf, Sam Marish practiced. On August 10th, Sam Marish began training camp. And today, Sam Marish will don number 17 as he leads the Minnesota Golden Gophers onto the field for their first home game under the open Minnesota sky since 1981. There's no way that you could not be pulling for Sam Marish to make his goals a reality. I said I was going to carry the flag, I was going to be the flag bearer, so, you know, just to hear that was, I mean, he told me that a long time ago. It's going to be unbelievable. We're going to have a guy lead us in the TCF Bank Stadium. I couldn't think of a more deserving guy, a better fit than Sam Marish to do that.
Amazing story. Huge night for Minnesota football. We're going to take